I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Me, let me go. Just call him out. You took your time. What have you been doing? Lights. Christ's sake. What's all the drama about? You're blinding me. Damon Morton, I'm Detective Superintendent Walker, Southampton Street. I'm arresting you in suspicion of the attempted murder of Marlon Spark. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Take him away. before in my life. I'm very sorry I can't help you. I mean, it's obvious something terrible must have happened to her. Or else why would you arrest me? Well, initially I was accused of kidnapping a prostitute, and cuffing her inside my van and forcing it to perform oral sex. Then torturing her, mutilating her, before kicking her out in the street. Andrew Morton, I will charge you with the attempted murder of Marilyn Spark. Come on. It's ridiculous. I will also charge you with the murders of Susan Harrow and Carol Lennox. I want you to leave Jimmy Garrett alone. It would be ridiculous for me to so much as threaten Jimmy Garrett because my bail application is up this afternoon and I wouldn't do anything to jeopardise my release now, would I? You must think I was born yesterday. Lucky for you, your bail's been granted. Yeah. Okay. I am. I told you there might be. Talk to me more. You know, the statements are made. Did you say she ran me out of a to court and say all that? If we did this type of plastic cow. That was simple then. Come live with me. What? Oh. You gonna leave Cindy? Not yet. I'm 
promise to stay together till this trial's over. You, me, Cindy. All of us. That's a good team that table. Well, I want you to, Cheryl. We're all family. We stick together. But we can't do the things we do without watching and listening and everything. We can't do the meat either. Well, we'll just have to do them in the yard. Get your things back, Cheryl. Brian Andrew Morton. Antonio Bellini. Roberto Bellini, James Garrett, you are each charged with murder in that on the 16th April 1998 you did murder Susan Zoe Harrow, in that on the 27th April 1998 you did murder Carol Alexandra Lennox. Brian Andrew Morton, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Antonio Bellini, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Roberto Bellini, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. James Garrett, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Bran Andrew Morton, you alone are further charged with attempted murder in that on the 26th April 1998, you did attempt to murder Marilyn Spark. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. You are each further charged with conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. The particulars being that between 25th April and 28th April 1998, you conspire together that James Garrett, Antonio Bellini and Roberto Bellini should make false statements of confession to the attempted murder of Marilyn Spark, with the intention thereby of perverting the course of justice. How do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. 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 Would you speak up, please? Uh, guilty. Brian Andrew Morton. I am. Mr. Morton, you have heard the details of a series of offences set out on a number of occasions in court. Now, could you tell the jury now, at the outset, whether you were involved in any of those offences, at any time, in any way? No. I was not. Had you ever, in fact, seen Miss Spark, the witness who identified you as her attacker, before she gave evidence in court? No. I swear on the Bible. I never did. Would you tell the jury where you were between 8 p.m. and midnight on the nights of the 16th and the 27th of April of this year? I was at home with my wife and family on both those nights. You did not leave the house at all? No. And could you tell the court where you were between 10 p.m. and midnight on the night of the 26th of April, also earlier this year, the night on which Miss Spark was attacked? I was with Cheryl Goodall. She's my girlfriend. Would you describe to us what your relationship with your employees was like? Well, we're all friendly. You know, not so much I'm the boss. And they were for me, but we're all like on a level. I'm married. Uh, and, and the lads aren't. So the three of them they went out together more as a group, you know. I reckon it was meeting girls, having a laugh. <laughs> That's why I used to lend them the phone. God, I'm sorry. It's perfectly understandable, Mr. Morton. I 
no idea. So you knew that they did things on their own as a group without you? Yeah. I well, wasn't they had big secrets all the time. It was just I knew there was stuff that I wasn't included in. I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You're quite certain your husband was with you on those dates, Mrs. Morton? Yes. Yes, I am. And the intervening date, where did he tell you he was then? He was with his girlfriend. But I can't lie about the fact that Brian was with me that night, till well after 12. Every night we had together was special. Even though what we were doing wasn't right. I know Damon. Sorry, Brian. He couldn't have done those terrible things. It's not a case of being a bit mixed up or not getting every detail quite right. The case of these confessions to the attack on Marilyn's spark being simply and utterly incredible, made each of them by people who were not there, made to assist Brian Morton to conceal the real truth of his guilt, made to order made to his order. Now, who would have done that? The three men who had no opportunity for so doing, and who went to the police with it firmly in mind to admit to a crime which the prosecution say they did not commit. Or this defendant, who had every opportunity and every motive in this hugely complex mass of facts, one fact shines through, and that is the fact of Marilyn Sparks' positive identification of this defendant as her attacker. Everything else in this case flows from that correct identification. The van, his van. A sweater found in his house, the box in his office. The false confessions of the three men to benefit him and him alone. For these reasons, members of the jury, you may have little difficulty in being certain that he is guilty of each of the three attacks. The Crown have invited you to rely on Marilyn Sparks' identification of the defendant. And yet you have had demonstrated to you an occasion when she got it wrong. Marilyn Spark falsely identified a man in the street as Brian Andrew Morton. Members of the jury, how can the Crown say that Marilyn Spark is a reliable witness? How can you be sure that her identification was ever correct? I suppose that Brian Morton had not been at his solicitor's office when Ms. Spark claimed to have seen him. Doesn't bear thinking about, does it? Well, the reality is that Marilyn Spark is, in fact, a thoroughly unreliable witness. As I'm afraid to say, you would expect from someone who earns her living by prostitution. I was telling the truth, you bastards! This man is a killer! A disgusting animal! Science in court! Because there is no forensic evidence linking Brian Andrew Morton to any of the victims, or the weapons, whose common use in all of these offences is a central element of the Crown's case, my learned friend, has therefore told you that Brian Andrew Morton must be guilty. Well, we submit 
that such an argument is wholly nonsensical. The foreman, please stand. Mr. Foreman, please answer this question, yes or no. Have you reached verdicts on each count on which you are all agreed? Yes. On the first count, do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty of the murder of Susan Zoe Harrow? Not guilty. Silence, please. On count two, do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty of the murder of Carol Alexandra Lennox? Not guilty. Silence in court. On count three, do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty of the attempted murder of Marilyn Spark? Not guilty. On count four, do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty of conspiring to pervert the course of justice? Not guilty. And these are the verdicts of you all? They are. Sunday! Thank <laughs> you. 